Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am extremely excited to go over this brand new 2024 Chrysler Pacifica Limited All-Wheel Drive. Uh, this is stock number 24C7. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video and probably give you the most in-depth uh, look at a Chrysler Pacifica 2024 that you're gonna find on YouTube. And we're just gonna go over everything. I'm gonna go over all the options. I'm gonna show you how the stow and go works. We're gonna go over some of the specifications as well and just give you the most accurate uh, representation of this vehicle that I can. Shoot all my videos in 4K. And if you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell notifications. You'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day. Jumping right into this 2024 Chrysler Pacifica, you're gonna get the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 287 horsepower. It's paired up with a nine speed automatic transmission and it's an all wheel drive vehicle. You're gonna get 25 highway, 17 city for an average of 20 miles per gallon. In the front here, you can see you get your LED headlamps, your LED running lights. I'm gonna turn those on at the end of the video so you can see how bright they are. And you also get LED fog lamps under there. Notice that you get the parking sensors on here as well. And uh, the gloss black on there looks really good too. Get the Chrysler logo with the uh, gloss black around the emblem there. Silver mist metallic is the color. The paint code is PSE. And uh, this is also known as Silver Zenith on the Jeep products. And you get the painted alloy wheels on here. These are 18 inch wheels and it comes with Pirelli P0 all season tires. These are 245 60 R18s. Kind of get a good look at that tread pattern there. Good all season tires. Four wheel disc brakes are standard on the Pacificas. You get the gloss black mirrors, built in directional signals. Uh, this one does have the 360 cam. We'll check that out in just a little bit. And we're gonna check out the original window sticker at the end of this video, so stick around for that. It's also linked in the description below if you don't wanna stick around that long, but uh, it is in the description below and we will look at it in just a little bit. This one does have the towing package on it. You get the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring and a 2024 limited all wheel drive has a towing capacity of 3,600 pounds. You get the LED tail lamps that go all the way across. And uh, this is a power lift gate. It is also a hands-free lift gate. So if you have the key fob in your pocket, you just put your foot underneath here. See, it's beeping at me right now because I don't have the key fob in my pocket, but if I did, it would close this gate. Back here, you get the stow and go area. So these seats fold down. You just pull strap one and then pull this back and it'll fold right into place. And you can see just how nice and flat that they go. You also have a 12 volt power point back here. You get a USB plug-in. You also have the rear window shades back here, which are a really nice feature. I know my kids really like those in our van. And uh, this seat goes down flat as well. Nice storage areas back here too. To get this gate down, you press this button. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Also notice on the styling here, the uh, gloss black in the corners and in the center of the lights there, all looks really good. Flows very nicely with that rear window. You do get the capless fuel fill on the Pacificas, which are a nice feature. And once again, four wheel disc brakes, uh, stop your minivan safely. You get blind spot monitoring. Heated mirrors, directional signals, like I said. This one has the enter and go system, so you just have to have the key fob in your pocket. It'll automatically unlock. These are power sliding side doors. This one has the bucket seats in the center here, or in the second row here. And these are stow and go seats as well. You get the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Uh, these seats kind of slide up. I'll show you that in a second. You get factory floor mats back here. You do get storage underneath here, which I'll show you in just a minute as well. There is also a drink holder right here, as well as a storage area that slides nicely. These second row seats are heated as well. And uh, you also have the side window shades on the second row windows. 
You have rear air controls there as well. And to get to that third row, you can just pull this latch right here and you can see that seat kind of slides forward and tilts all at the same time to get easy access to that third row. There's also a latch tether anchor back here for another child car seat. So this one has the stow and go assist as well. Press this button. This front seat will go all the way up so that you can get this seat down. And then when you get done, you press that again and the seat will go right back to where it was. One other thing to show you back here is you get USBs and USB-Cs in the front seats. Uh, so a lot of kids got uh, tablets and stuff like that, which is really nice for charging. Um, I know in my van, my kids play their Switch all the time. It'd be great if it had a charger like that. Um, but mine's a little bit older of a van. To get these seats down, you just push this backrest down like that. Grab the strap that says stow and go. It'll release it. You can push it right into place. This piece goes down like that. I was just like kneeling on them because then they go down and latch into place. And you can see how nice and flat that they go. To get them out is just as easy. Once again, pull this up. It'll stay in the, its spot right there. Pull the stow and go strap again, and you're back up. Very, very simple. Grab it right here. That piece comes like that, folds right into place. Now you press the stow and go assist, and that seat will go right back to where it was before you press that button the first time. These sliding doors also go like that. You can pull the handle as well. Front seats, you get the same black leather seating with the white, light gray piping on there. And both of these front seats, I believe, are heated and cooled. You get a power driver seat, factory floor mat, auto headlamps, tilt, telescopic steering wheel, power windows, locks and mirrors, uh, wood grain trim on the door, memory driver seat, and these mirrors do power fold in, which is a really nice feature as well. Top and side, check out the miles, and then we'll take a look at the radio. I'll turn on all those lights on the outside, and then we'll check out the original window sticker. This one comes with the 7-inch LCD display. You get the digital speedometer on there. You get the nice blue hue around the instrument cluster. That looks really good. Um, you can dim it down, of course, when the lights are on. You get the wood grain trim around that instrument cluster, and that goes around the radio as well. And you get the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise controls on the right, adaptive cruise controls there as well, Bluetooth information center controls, you get the audio controls in the back, and you get that nice white stitching on there as well. So this is your Uconnect 10.1, Uconnect 5 radio. It has the factory navigation system. I believe that's powered by TomTom. And uh, you can see Highway 41 is there. And this radio is supposed to be five times faster than the old Uconnect 4 radios. Um, you also have AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, USB, AUGS, and Alexa hookups here. You have your climate controls, which include, let's see here, there you go, which include your dual climate controls. You also have your heated and cooled seat buttons, as well as your heated steering wheel controls. And then you can check out your surround cameras, which are really cool. So you get a surround view of what's going on. You can do a normal backup view a wide view of the front, a narrow view of the front, and then if you're hooking up to a boat or camper or trailer, you can uh, back right up to that. You got the center line that lines right up with your receiver hitch, so you can get hooked up to your boat, camper, or trailer the first time every time, and then you can even zoom on that for even better results. Really nice system on here, and down here are your, actually, let me show you all the different apps. So I'm not gonna, a lot of these apps are just links to different parts of the radio, but I'll show you all of them. Basically, you got your driver profiles, which are pretty cool. You can set those up. Um, and like I said, just like links to every part of the radio. So like this will take you to media. The other ones will take you to the climate control. So it's just links to different parts of the radio. Anyways, you get the gloss black trim on this lower area right here. You also have dual climate controls, volume tune controls, more tactile buttons and knobs and stuff. Your nine speed automatic transmission, your electronic parking brake. This is your perpendicular and parallel park assist. Your parking sensors, you can turn those off and on. 
lane departure warnings, start stop capabilities, and your stability control. Down here you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack. You also have your wireless cell phone charge pad and your keyless entry here with your remote start, power lift gate, and side door buttons. You have a sliding tray here. Inside of here you get another USB and another USB-C and a 12-volt power point and spots for quarters, um, nickels, and dimes. And that kind of closes nicely. You also have a storage area underneath here kind of hard for me to get the gimbal down there but you do have that and let's go turn the lights on and then um, i'll actually turn the lights off in the picture studio so you can see just how bright these things are and once again i would personally like to thank you for checking out the video hopefully from this hd video you've gotten a really good idea of the overall options and functionality and capabilities of this vehicle so i'm just gonna Turn the lights off here. And you can see just how bright these lights are. LED headlamps, running lights, and the fog lights. The fog lights are just as bright as the headlamps, and uh, they look really good. Kind of a mean looking minivan. Kind of had like the angry eyes like the Wranglers do on some of those aftermarket grills and stuff. And then the taillights, this is my favorite part of the Pacifica. You get that kind of, it kind of looks like a Durango with the racetrack tail lamps there. They're all LEDs and very bright, and they're supposed to be, uh, you know, shine faster, brighter than all the normal halogen ones. So let's go take a look at that original window sticker. So here's the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this or just click the link in the description below. Because I'm not going to go over everything. You can see uh, 2024 Pacifica Limited all-wheel drive. 3.6 liter, 24 valve V6 VVT engine with start-stop. 9-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is standard equipment for the limited package. So adaptive cruise control, blind spot, lane departure, full speed forward collision warning plus, pedestrian emergency braking, advanced brake assist, and uh, the all-wheel drive suspension and everything else that you see there. Interior, everything you see there is a standard equipment for the limited package as well, including the 10.1 inch Uconnect Nav, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and then the three 13 Alpine speakers as well. Exterior, everything there is standard on the limited package. The first optional equipment is the Silver Mist Clear Coat Exterior Paint, which is $195. The Safety Sphere is $11.95. That gives you the 360 camera, the park sense, front and rear park assist system, and the per parallel and perpendicular park assist with stop. And the trailer tow group is an $1,195 option. Remember, you can tow up to 3,600 pounds with this vehicle. Total MSRP is $55,605. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this particular Chrysler Pacifica and availability in the Upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website. That's also linked in the description below as well. So click those and get your summit price, three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon, 17 city, 25 highway, 20 average, and your safety ratings, um, front and side crash test ratings are five stars. Definitely feel safe uh, driving your family around in this vehicle. And that's it. Also the passenger seat is power with lumbar as well. And you can see that storage area there. I kind of missed that. See how big the glove box is. And you get owner's manual and all that good stuff in there. Anyways, that's everything that I can give you on this 2024 Chrysler Pacifica Limited all-wheel drive in silver mist clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And to see more pictures of this vehicle or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Pacificas, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications after you subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's your best way to get updated every time I do videos so you do not miss out on gems like this one and stay current on our ever-changing and vast inventory. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Chrysler Pacifica videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. 
and we're super excited to be offering the 2024 Chrysler Pacifica Limited all-wheel drive in silver mist clear coat with the safety sphere and tow package. And uh, thank you so much for checking that video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel, and have a great day.